Okay, the K premiere in 2011 and was created by David Lyons. David Lyons. Sorry about this, but folks, but um, yes, I actually like to see in the summer. I'm gonna say this it's like the people saw the Dark Knight, Dark Man, Arrow, and said, you know, what about the Until Dark Man pilot and Batman TV series mixed with Arrow? So, like, it's basically like Dark Man with Batman in it. Because, let me explain to you. So I guess he was an honest cop, and what happens is that he loses it all when he is framed for the murder, playing a guy, a villain named Chess. Chess, I feel irritating, you know why? Because we don't know him very strictly, right? We don't even know who Chess is. We don't even really know who Chess is, really. So it gives us no time to really know who Chess is, because... We don't know who Chess is or nothing about him. We don't even get no character drops on them. And Orkwell, well, she's the Oracle. Ooh. All the characters could have worked in this, like, giving it some more thing. It's a silly ideal, but it takes itself away too serious. Arrow knows it's a silly ideal, which why it doesn't take itself so serious. But yes, I want Arrow to get. I'm sorry, but I want Arrow just to end. It's ran over its time. There's nothing they do with it. But I think there could have found some interesting plots with this because I guess it's a, you know, Smallville started the phrase of the CW. And then we made Heroes, which was even bigger. Why don't we try this with a super? And since Arrow's a big hit with the Flash and stuff. Why don't we try it with a superhero ourselves if they came up with the cape? It's okay. Oh, I'm just going to be it. I watched all the episodes. I think there's no flaws. And somehow, he just fights the cape, okay? That sucks, really. But, but the rest of it's okay. I will make him first start as a man who lost his family. As we will see flashbacks to the chest. And then what happens is... That he goes undercover as a bank robber, which he is. And then finds the cape and decides he's going to be a superhero and trades with it. That's how it should have went. So, yeah. Oh, uh, did, did, did it see it suck? Not really. It was okay, but... Some ideals don't work and some ideals do work. Like, some things they could have improved on... Which they did do. Like, some of the villains, they were okay. I mean, I got to say that. I mean, my favorite episode would have to be Goggles and Hicks. It's because, no doubt, Leech. It's Leech is my favorite. Leech part one is a part where the part two episode, Centura Leech. It gives us a little more backstory behind Orville, as she likes to call herself. And we soon learn, spoiler I'm not going to say. But yes, and then we get in more to her with the toxic inside of her and stuff. And we kind of left our leak bomb on that. But this is alright. And I really don't know where to put that in the radius chart. Because it's an okay series. And by the way, MC, this was not trying to do that thing really. It tried. But... At least it's better than that Wonder Weapon fell pilot. Because NBC tried to do the Wonder Weapon pilot. But I watched it and it sucks. Because they do so many things. This is how they will make the pilot pretty good. We get from one thing. The pacing is good in the pilot. But how they make it feel is just like this. Oh, we give her three lives. Why do you want to give her a billionaire life again? I'm sorry. But you have to give her three identities. But that doesn't work. But this season is already okay. So I'll, I'll see you next time. And did it suck? Nope.